The goal of the SDA IHT is to provide an engaging and enveloping home theater experience with the absolute minimum number of loudspeakers. One, the IHT traces its roots back to the original SDA technology developed in the early 1980s. SDA was a two-channel technology intended to overcome a fundamental problem of stereo reproduction known as interoral crosstalk. SDA relies on a mixture of acoustical engineering, applied psychoacoustic principles, and digital signal processing, and a little magic. The Instant Home Theater uses the basic SDA principles and expands the technology to create a complete sense of envelopment from a single bar type speaker and a simple stereo hookup. In fact, the SDA IHT can turn a simple stereo recording into a surround sound experience. This technology requires no reflecting surfaces or special speaker placement. It works well in virtually any room of any size or shape and delivers a home theater experience for all listening locations. The problem targeted by the original SDA technology is a phenomenon known as interoral crosstalk. It's a fundamental problem not only for stereo reproduction, but for any system with more than one speaker. Suppose we go to a concert and we put a microphone at each of our ears to record exactly what we're hearing. The recording will contain all the characteristics of the performance, but it's the differences between what's recorded at one ear and the other that allows our brains to determine the positions of the instruments, uh, the size of the concert hall, and where we are in that space. Now, if we play back our concert recording over a pair of stereo speakers, what do we hear? Well, of course, we hear the sound from the left speaker in our left ear. And we hear the sound from the right speaker in our right ear. But we also are going to hear some of the left speaker crossing over into our right ear and some of the right speaker crossing over into our left ear. That's interaural crosstalk. And what interaural crosstalk does is it gives us sound cues about where the location of the loudspeakers are instead of the location of the material that was recorded. Although Polk Audio was not the first to realize this problem, we were the first to think of doing something about it in the acoustic domain. If we add another set of loudspeakers here and here and deliver those loudspeakers a precisely derived cancellation signal, we can then deal with the interoral crosstalk and cancel it and remove it from the image. This allows your ears to find the locations for the sonic images that were originally recorded in the studio and allows those images to occur far outside the physical location of the loudspeakers. It's as if the recording was happening right in front of you at that moment. There's another characteristic of stereo loudspeakers which is quite desirable. When a pair of loudspeakers is played in a room, we hear not only the sound that comes to us directly from the loudspeakers, but also that which is reflected from all the surfaces in the room. The direct sound arrives soonest, of course, since it has the shortest distance to travel. And the indirect sound arrives sometime later and somewhat reduced in level. This is because of the additional distance and the surfaces it bounces off of. The indirect sound would seem to be unwanted given our earlier discussion. However, laboratory tests have shown that the strongest of these indirect sounds are important. Indirect sounds that arrive later than the time related to this interoral crosstalk add a sense of spaciousness and envelopment to the listening experience. These sounds tell our ear brain about the size of the performance hall and, and our position in it. This is therefore a crucial quality of a properly set up loudspeaker system that we do not wish to lose. In order to create this spaciousness with only one smaller and centrally located loudspeaker, we need to employ a little bit of help. We use digital signal processing. If we determine the path of the strongest indirect sounds, we can also determine the delay due to the additional distance and the way in which the sound was changed. We can then use DSP to implement that same delay in the precise sound contours in a way that provides our ear brain with that sense of the original performance space. So remember that Polk Audio's exclusive SDA technology cancels interaural crosstalk in order to reproduce the precise sonic imagery and focus of the original recording 
while spatial enhancement employs DSP algorithms to create a sense of the performance stage or the movie scene. Together in the SDA Instant Home Theater, they create an engaging and enveloping home theater experience with the absolute minimum number of loudspeakers. One.